Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of something different. We're gonna kind of give you guys a preliminary look at how my training is gonna be structured heading into Worlds. The first thing we're gonna talk about today is gonna to be the block structure. So how we're gonna lay out the training over the next 14 weeks. Now the structure of the weeks, we can talk a fair bit about the first block here. A lot of the rest of it is gonna kind of come as things emerge or as things develop. But the first block is going to be laid out such that day one, I'm gonna have my comp squat and equipment, my comp bench and equipment. First few weeks probably won't be touching uh, or squatting all the way to depth. Day two, is gonna be my comp equipped deadlift, um, my comp raw bench and some accessory work. Day three is gonna be laid out, so I start with my comp raw squat. I'm gonna do actually some shirted accessory work. This will be my first block where I'm spending two days a week in the bench shirt, and then a, a little bit more bench accessory work. And day four is some deadlift accessory, some more bench accessory, and uh, some more deadlift accessory. In terms of setting goals for this block, that's one thing that I've started doing in the last few comp blocks to try to give myself something to work towards at the end. So I'm starting with a 375 kilo estimated max on my equipped squat and hoping to see 400 by the end of the block. Starting with a 242 and a half on the equipped bench, hoping to get up to a 255 by the end of the block. Starting with 367 and a half on my deadlift, hoping to get up to 405 by the end of the block. And in terms of my raw lifts, I'm starting with a 282 and a half max on my raw squat uh, and hoping to get to a 307 by the end of the block. And on my raw bench, I'm starting with 180 kilos and hoping to project 192 and a half by the end of the block. If you all are interested in learning a little bit more about how I come up with these goals, how to set some goals for yourself throughout a training cycle, and how to progress week to week without being too married to the plan, leave a comment in the comment section below and we can try to create a video addressing that specifically. And if I had to take a shot in the dark at what I would hope for in an ideal world at the meet, it'd probably be a 400 kilo squat, 260 kilo bench, and a 410 deadlift. So. Fingers crossed all this comes together. Things rarely work out as planned, but I think it's important to set lofty goals and be a little bit idealistic so that you have something to direct your efforts. Now, I'm also sure there are gonna be some challenges and roadblocks in this meet prep. One of the things that's gonna happen is we're gonna be traveling to Texas. We're gonna be heading to Titan headquarters. Now, this isn't really a challenge, but it is travel. It is training outside of my element a little bit, and it might throw a bit of a wrench into things, but the goal is to go get custom equipment, custom tailored, go check out the great people at Titan and their facility, um, and hopefully take the cameras with us and get some good content for y'all. The other thing that uh, comes to mind is I'm hosting a meet here at September 22nd. So there's usually a little bit of work, a little bit of set up, tear down, um, some, some longer days and a little bit of stress involved with running a meet. So that may or may not play a factor in my training. As well as um, I'm a little bit heavier than I was the last time I was in a lot of the equipment that I'm using right now. My squat suit is very, very tight. I actually failed to deadlift in my suit the other day, so I'm having a new one sent out. Um, there are some things with the equipment of getting used to it again. And on that note, it's probably worth mentioning and coming clean with everybody. I will be moving up a weight class. For anyone who's still wondering, I am going to be competing in the 120 kilo category. Um, I'm not actually cutting to the 66s, although I will continue to troll anybody who asks. So we hope you all enjoyed a bit of a deeper look at sort of the, I guess the preliminary look at, at how training should develop over the next little while. Some of my hopes and aspirations over the, over the coming course of time. And um, yeah, hopefully that uh, gives everybody a little bit of context and uh, helps you follow along with things as we go. If you have any questions about any of this kind of stuff, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you liked it and hit subscribe to stay tuned with my training as I get closer and closer to competing at the IPF Open World Championships in November in Dubai. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
One last thing. We did want to throw this in here. Um, the folks from Desert Barbell in Dubai are actually gonna be helping me out with getting to the championships with my accommodations and some of those kinds of things. And uh, they recorded a little video they wanted us to put on the channel to, uh, I guess, express how excited they are to have us there. So uh, we're really looking forward to going. I'm gonna be kicking around at Desert Barbell for probably about a week before the championships and um, maybe another four or five days after the championships. So I'm really looking forward to spending some time at their facility and with the guys and girls from that gym. So uh, without further ado, here you go. This is Pat and Marco, co-founders of the Desert Barbell. And uh, we're really looking forward to being a part of Bryce's journey to the World Championships in November right here in Dubai. Uh, we also look forward to welcoming him to Desert Barbell, into our club uh, and into our community. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what he's going to do with us uh, and hopefully he'll impart some knowledge with some of the lifters here. Yeah. We're also looking forward to see him come and smash weights here at the club and let our members know what an incredible lifter he is. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs>